There are so many new beauty releases happening all the time, so we gathered some of the most hyped products to test for ourselves. This is one of the strangest new products I've seen in a long time. This is a Hip Dot Icon Baked Eye Pigment Shadow. I got the Share Bear one. These are essentially 3D figures made of baked eyeshadow. They kind of feel like makeup Funko Pops, like more something you collect rather than use. But I used it. The formula was actually pretty dry. It took me a while to pick up any product on my brush. I definitely got a better application and color payoff with my finger, but still the formula was dry and I was tugging at my eyelid, which I did not like. This feels way more like a novelty than an actual eyeshadow. Fenty released this double cheeked up freestyle cream blush duo. So you have this baby pink color called Malibu's and this deeper medium pink called Peony Droppa. I've heard that the Fenty cream blush formula doesn't have the best color payoff, but these were actually pigmented. The problems for me started with application. I used a dense brush to apply first and it did lift my foundation. So I tried my sponge and I think I made it worse. My face was not powdered by the way. On the other side, I just used my fingers and that also lifted my foundation, but way less. I do really like these shades so I can see myself using this on bare skin but I am not a fan of this formula on top of foundation. I finally got my hands on this 4th Ray Beauty Honey Pot Lip Care Kit. It keeps selling out and now I know why. This kit comes with a honey lip scrub and a lip mask. This packaging is literally so cute. Look at this tiny honey dipper. The scrub is like a regular sugar scrub. It made my lips feel really soft but I wish it was a little more coarse so I don't have to keep dipping in for more. This lip mask felt incredible. It's thick and smooth and really hydrating and it tastes sweet, which I liked. This is the Tom Ford Soleil Neige Lip Blush Lip Balm. It's this transparent balm with a bunch of platinum flecks in it. It's actually one of those color changing products. So once you apply it, it turns into this deep pink shade. Lip blush is a really good way to describe it because it makes your lips look so rosy. The actual balm formula is really nice and hydrating, but no one on planet Earth needs a $58 lip balm. This is cute though. Hollow Taco polishes have been super popular since they were released, but I've actually never tried them. I picked up a few different formulas to test out. I really did not like the skinny brushes these came with, but they actually sell wide brush replacements, so I just swapped them all out. This cream shade I tried first was so full coverage and applied really smoothly. The color was just so rich. I got this iridescent flaky topper and I was surprised at how much I liked it. I don't really do toppers, but this one looks so shifty and cool on the nails. I obviously had to test out some holographic polishes. Both of these also applied really well and had amazing color payoff. I had to turn my flashlight on so you could really see the hollow. I applied the super glossy top coat on all of these formulas and I really loved it. I like it when my top coat has an almost plumping effect where it makes regular polish kind of look like gel and this did that while making the manicure super shiny. Overall, I'm really happy with all the shades I got and I can't wait to try more. This is the Milani Days of Disco Shimmer Spray. It's supposed to be a holographic glitter setting spray but I was seeing absolutely no glitter when I sprayed some on my hand. And I shook this really well, like for a full minute. It. I sprayed it all over my face and it did make my skin look extremely dewy, but I still wasn't really seeing the glitter effect. I could only see if I was looking really, really, really closely. The glitter effect is definitely not as noticeable as I thought it was going to be. And the actual setting spray formula just made me look oily.